It says here, Israel, the nation of Israel, uh, Israel's war with the nation of Iran will cause never before seen images. Again, Israel's war with Iran will cause never before seen images. It says the following, a war against Iran and Hezbollah will see Israel pounded by over a thousand rockets per day, causing never before seen images in the Jewish state. An unnamed former senior official or officer from the Israeli Air Force, he said this to Jerusalem Post. He said it's a severe threat to the homeland. And there will be images that have never been seen in the past. According to the anonymous source, if the population remains in shelters, the main damage will be to infrastructure that will be targeted by the barrages of dumb rockets and missiles fired toward Israel. While the thousands of missiles are a real threat, it's not existential threat like the precision missiles that Hezbollah is trying to obtain. He said it's a severe threat, but people tend to think in extremes. He said people will not be at zero at the end of the conflict. We have to put it in perspective. People think Tel Aviv will be leveled. Iran and Hezbollah can create damage, and for sure there will be strikes in many locations, and the damage will probably be greater than in the past, but we have to put it in perspective. In other words, we can't freak out of the possibility of us looking like we're about to be annihilated. Uh, it sounds kind of concerning, honestly. And I think this is why the source remained anonymous. Um, and, and, and it's going to make, again, Israel look very ugly. Uh, you know, the nation of Israel look just very ugly. I think of the scriptures in Zechariah chapter 12, Zechariah chapter 14. Let me take you there very quickly. That talk about the nation of Israel. That talk about... Um, what type of uh, conflict will hit that nation very soon? Let's go verse. Uh, let's go first to Zechariah chapter twelve. Uh, we'll start in verse one. The burden of the word of the Lord against Israel. Thus says the Lord, who stretches out the heavens, lays the foundation of the earth, and forms the spirit of man within him. Behold. I will make Jerusalem a cup of drunkenness to all the surrounding peoples when they lay siege against Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples. All who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. In that day, says the Lord, I will strike every horse with confusion and its rider with madness. I will open my eyes on the house of Judah and I will strike every horse of the people with blindness. Let's go to uh, chapter 14. Starting in verse 1, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord is coming and your spoil will be divided in your midst. Your spoil will be divided in your midst for I will gather all the nations to battle against Jerusalem, the city shall be taken, the houses rifled, and the women ravished. Half of the city shall go into captivity, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. So again, Israel's war with Iran will cause never before seen images. This nation will go through a suffering if the severe threat is actually acted upon. And uh, it, it's, it's going to look bad. And it will be bad. If it looks bad, that means it will be bad. And so we pray for the peace of Jerusalem during this time in Jesus, in Jesus name.